Good morning everyone. Yesterday the game went too long. I'm driving with my daughter to kindergarten with Sophia. I was the game went too long so I didn't make uh, my personal review. I will do this after this video uh, on my way to work so I give you some my thoughts on Croatia versus Denmark but at least I got to run the numbers and of course with Spain out if you recall Spain was a projected finalist so we'll have many changes now my daughter Sofia here has also been watching a lot Sofia which team did you like best uh, white, and blue. white and blue that would be Argentina they are unfortunately already out and will not play anymore mm -hmm. well having said all that we are on our way to kindergarten and when we are there I will after we are there I will get make the video post the video to the end and we'll look right at the calculations and look at all the changes due to Spain's exit that have been happening to the tournament up until then so as announced with Spain dropping out we have lots of changes to this rating and mainly the main changes are actually here with the probabilities of the top nations but there are also of course some changes um, in uh, ranking these because Spain was here in third place with Belgium up, Croatia qualified up, um, England up, Uruguay flip-flopped with England because for them the situation didn't change as much they still um, have France and then would have Brazil to play uh, Switzerland of course went up as, as did Colombia and Russia is uh, probably the biggest winner of it all uh, so it all went all shifted up we have Spain now here and Denmark here and if you look at the probabilities uh, Brazil had a two point race uh, similar to France uh, England had a huge race as well and of course Croatia had a big one um, being being qualified for the next round gives you always a big advantage um, similar to Russia um, so here quite some changes by the way I want to mention uh, yesterday in the video I'm sorry I hadn't cleaned up here the position changes so on this part of the uh, ranking it still showed the changes from before they are cleaned up on the page if you go to my um, uh, prediction central page uh, it is all straightened out now I think no one minded now let's see what's the impact of Spain and Croatia. Uh, Spain elimination eliminated and uh, Croatia advancing on actually the bracket. Of course, the upper bracket does not change, but now the lower bracket is completely thrown off because we had Spain all the way to the final, as I said before. Croatia. Spain was expected. We have now Croatia against England and England to win. So England. I have in the final. Uh, that's probably a big surprise to many England fans that are not already on the full bandwagon. So um, England's path to the final gets clearer. I actually cannot believe that I have a Brazil-England final. But you know, the ratings are there and that's how it's computed. England is still slightly ahead of Croatia and Croatia probably won't, too many, won't make too many points even if they beat Russia unless, unless they beat Russia resoundingly and then France in, still in third place ahead of Croatia now for a last feature I finally got to, to compute my performance indices um, I may, might make a video on these um, separately but just to show you this is the relative performance given the expectation at the start of the tournament and at the uh, positive values maximum is one is a very very good performance negative values close to negative one is very negative performance and around zero it's kind of you're about as expected for now and of course with the win Russia goes in first place Croatia is also now in second with Japan a third who has not yet qualified for next round um, prior to yesterday Japan was in first place I will post um, according page uh, very soon. Uh, just pointing out Brazil is not a heavy favorite so for them still being stuck in the second round on average they will get an index of 0.059 but as soon as they reach another round this will bump up. Of course Brazil in order to get all the way to the front would have to probably make it to the final if not further and Spain's is not as low because they at least made it out of uh, the group stage. Germany 
course is horrendous. Well, let me know what you think about all that. Again, I will make probably a video, uh, maybe a little bit explaining the performance index and um, showing the ratings from yesterday and today, and then it, I will make it a feature of all future um, prediction videos. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.